Greetings out of these and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. Now, usually these videos I would kind of save for like nearing like when the cookie cup would usually end. You know the cookie cup event that I've explained about. I'll probably explain it while we're talking about it. But I decided to do it right now because I feel like I'm on a roll with the amount of cookie run videos that I've been recording as of recently. Like I've been on a straight up grind. So we're going to try and get Centipede Cookies, Diamond Rank, and Rainbow Rank. And there's actually a few reasons why I'm doing this. A, because, you know, Cookie Cup, if you don't know what that is, it basically means there's an event going on where there's another set of rewards that you can obtain if you're able to uh, get both Diamond Rank and Rainbow Rank within a certain amount of time, being around 30 days, and now that's halfway done, because then we know there's, there's, there's only, like, more than 14 days left, and I still haven't gotten Diamond Rank yet, so I wanted to do that real quick. And B, there's some missions within the uh, the plumbing event of, uh, I think it's just the Village of Mirage's event, where, like, I have to do, like, certain stuff and, like, try and get to a certain parts of level and I feel like the only way to do that very good is to have a better increased level of cookie. So I'll I'll probably figure out how much I need to level up centipede by the time that I get there. But for now, I'm just gonna try and get diamond rank here and also rainbow rank, seeing if it's possible. But for now, we need to figure out who even the, who, who the pleb even is centipede cookie. So let's go let's go ahead and take a gander at her story, which says, "Oh ho ho! If you're hearing this piercing laughter, you better run, or else you will have to face centipede cookie's trump card, the enormous centipede king bursting out of the ground right before you, sitting on the head of the centipede king, smirking down at other cookies. This cookie is always desiring to be the center of attention. Like her tail, centipede cookie wields a vibrant whip, which a, which quite a few cookies look up to her skillful powers." The cookie has been waiting long for the day of to rise victoriously. By the look of all the golden accessories she buys, perhaps the cookie wants to be rewarded for the long wait. Wait. Okay, I don't understand that now that I think about it. Like, yeah, sure, she buys all the golden accessories, but what? Do you need to get rewarded with more golden loot just because you bought a bunch of golden loot? I don't understand what the process of that is. But anyway, in regards to her skill, it says here that starts rotting the centipede king in given intervals. Treasure jar jellies appear, or treasure uh, treasure jars appear, which can, can be broken by the cookie's whip. Press the whip button to, when a jar is in range to destroy it and create treasure jellies. Level up for more points for coins and treasure jellies. Or, for, or and coins for treasure jellies. Okay, that's an odd way of saying it, but basically you just break a bunch of pots with your whip and see how much coins that you can break out of you. It's basically being Link, but except in throwing uh, throwing the pots on the ground, you just break them with a whip. Does Link have a whip within any Legend of the Zelda game? There's a hook shot. I'm not sure if that'll work. But also, there's the pet that we can talk about being the treasure flask, which according to the story of this, which... What type of mouth is that? It looks like a beak, but also looks like a... A kind of singing, singing mouth, I don't know. But according to the story of this, this ceramic flask centipede cookie we received was a gift during a mission, so it, it is, wait, what the fuck? A mission, it's so antique that it would be a waste to only store water inside. Above all, the cookie loved the pet's pride in saying it was worth more than a regular flask. So some days the cookie cherishes it like a treasure. Other days the cookie hangs onto it, her, on, hangs it onto her waist like a water bottle. So it's like half, you know, oh, you're the best and half you're just my water bottle. And now I understand. Now that mouth is like a prideful, like, smile. Or like a prideful, like, open yay mouth or whatever. And according to its skill, turns regular jellies into oasis potions at given intervals. Oasis potions restore your energy and slow energy drain for a short amount of time. Level up for more energy restored by oasis potions and for a uh, slower energy drain after getting an oasis potion. Definitely seems useful. I can understand why this pet is definitely good to be a high level here. And the last thing I can talk about in regards to Centipede Cookie is her associated treasure being the Pop Pop photo card, Which I guarantee you, first of all, it's only associated with... Oh, now, now apparently Chili Pepper Cookie, which I could have sworn it wasn't associated with her before, but I guess that's an upgrade, I guess. But Chili Pepper Cookie, Centipede Cookie, and Squid Ink Cookie, which I think the reason why Chili Pepper got it now is because with the Peppercorn Cookie update, she got buffed, so now she likes this treasure too. And I guarantee you, everyone who likes this treasure, even Chili Pepper included, I said this before, before the update, and I'll say it again. The only reason why they like this treasure is because it's shiny. It doesn't matter that it has, oh, a popping candy cookie on it. No, it's just because the treasure and the cards are shiny. I'll explain here. And according to the story, official Cake Pops merch. Meet all the members of the group with these holographic cards. The top quality printing makes it seem like they'll pop right out of the cards. This is a must buy. Yeah, they're holographic, meaning they're nice and shiny. And according to the actual skill of it, uses 400 coins to create an album containing photo cards of the Cake Pops at certain intervals. You will receive a photo card uh, featuring a random Cake Pops member into the album. Collecting all member photos photo cards will grant photo card collection points. Level up for more points for photo card and bonus photo card collection points. So, fun fact, apparently I don't even have this treasure fully enhanced, which I should probably do that, but then again, that's really not going to change much because the only thing that changed, like, it doesn't matter because, like, you know, plumbing, the treasures are stamped at level 7, they're stuck like that. So they're basically maxed out as they are. 
But with that being said, we're going to have to try and run in this. Let's see how many pots that we can break. Maybe we can be better than Link or something because we really need to get a lot of these coins, especially for the photo card stuff because apparently we're such a big fan. We don't care about the shininess. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, and also I wanted to show off that there's something here for a calling $10 pet that $10, $10 pet that is available if you want, but only if you want to. It's basically like a battle pass system where if you buy it, you can still get the rewards on top of if you buy it. You can get other rewards down here, but you, you just need to get the cookie to level 15 first. So good luck if you want to spend even more crystals but anyway let's get this down let's get this plumbing show on the road and let's see our centipede king just destroy everything which now i realize it it's not even the centipede king that's doing anything here like it's it's just us all we're doing is just taking a plumbing taxi rod on top of them why i have no plumbing clue it's just a them thing which i could have sworn i think the cookie skills for some reason became louder i gotta check my volume i could have sworn that they actually became louder when this upgrade occurred it could just be my volume and I might just be mistaking things. I don't know, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I have my volume at like a lower level than usual. And then again, in regards to the video, it really doesn't change anything because uh, the only thing that changes is because uh, it kind of captures the video at like a set volume. And luckily, like my voice can be still heard visually past that. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Hopefully it doesn't. And if I end up flipping getting this video done, like and the audio somehow messed up in that sort of way, I'm going to be upset, but I need to try and re-record it because I would still have the footage. Maybe I could do like, I don't know, like uh, post recording, like post narration, basically like, oh, the video is done, but I'll just narrate what was going on, like what I was talking about. I mean, so far I haven't had, I haven't had any issues with that. The only time I guess I can consider that I had an issue like that is in regards to when sometimes my videos, like after processing them through Vegas, it's just like, oh, you know, you made a full fledged video. Guess what? We're just gonna only play like two minutes of the audio. And then for some reason, we're just gonna cut like the last five seconds of the audio, like at the start. And then there's going to be no audio for the rest of the video. Which I think is stupid. I don't know why Vegas does that. But I know it does it on like once every like blue moon or something. Which I know that doesn't seem that often. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be more often than it's supposed to initially. Was that Centip that was Centipede's Cookie's face right there. A little small attention to detail but pretty interesting. By the way we are getting close to the Emerald rank. I'm pretty sure this is the farthest I've gotten. And I'm pretty sure the reason why uh, everyone uses. Uh, as, at least as far as I'm assuming. Everyone will probably want to use Centipede Cookie in the Plumbing Village of Mirage event. It's just because of the pet. Literally. Not only do you get energy, but apparently the energy that you get, like, apparently slows down. I, I mean that in the sense of, like, oh, got the bonus time, snagged it. But, like, your energy slows down whenever you collect a potion, which is honestly insanely helpful. So no wonder people would, like, instantly go, like, oh, we gotta max this pet to, like, level 15. We need as much energy that we can get here. Now, will I have enough energy for this? I'm not sure. We are entering Ruby 3, though. Uh, I guess the direction here doesn't really matter. Uh... But actually, my skill is about to activate. Maybe there is. Maybe there's hope. I don't know. It depends how many points I get here. And I need a lot of very, very shiny gems. And maybe a potion can pop up something. Maybe? It's looking pretty close. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. This is uh, bad. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, maybe it's because I did miss some of those jellies that I jumped past. But the thing is, I got Ruby 1. And if we can go back to the plumbing uh, thing, I have level 7 centipede, level 10 pets. And a level 5 fat, uh, plumbing fully enhanced magic candy. This, up here. Yeah, I have the wrong, I have the wrong, I have the wrong treasures. I have the wrong treasure. <laughs> oh! Alright, just managed to leave the plumbing bonus time. I'm not sure how the egg, like the plumbing red egg of resurrection is going to help me. Because to, to be honest, I feel like my points will already be too low. Like, even if I get revived. Unless if there's like a big potion available. Then like, Maybe? But now at least I get to see a little bit more of the level. If there's a big potion available, then I can absolutely see why. But, oh my gosh, there is. Oh my gosh, there- Oh my gosh, that's why. There is a flooding big potion just a little bit up ahead in the level. Maybe if I- I Maybe if I had a higher level cookie, then I actually could have made it. Or like a better level pet. But then again, I can only upgrade the cookie so many times. And like, the max I can really put it at is like level 11. So I think now with that potion, my ability- Like, my pubbing ability should activate one more time. And yeah, oh, I just got that potion there too. Yep. Oh, and that was the centipede thing, I think. That's pretty cute. All right. Yeah, this should definitely guarantee. Yeah, plumbing. Tip for doing trials. You definitely try and use the combis that you can w with the ones that are available because uh, that just straight up helped me so much right there. And also a big reason why the plumbing, uh, you should use the bubble wave shield is because it just swarms over all the coins. And just like you can collect every single one of them. But now, after doing a rerun, plumbing got diamond rank. Fantastic. Now, 
before I even move on, I may as well claim all the rewards that I can get here from doing the normal mode. And also, I do want to point out that she does have a magic candy that I forgot to read the description of, but I usually do it in the second run anyway, so it's kind of intentional. But anyway, what her description of the magic candy says is, Some of the treasure jars turn into splendorous jars. Splendorous jars contain splendorous treasure jellies. The stronger the enchanted effect, the more points and coins for splendorous treasure jellies. Sounds pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and go back now, and we're going to get all of our rewards, which is just, look at that, diamond. And look at that, that's... 4,500 crystals, including with some extra ones right there. There's, there's 100, and there's another 100, so like 4,700. And also spirit potions for cookies and pets, coins, and a bunch of other things. And also the magic powder, too. 623, baby. We are slowly rising up the ranks. But now, here's where it gets scary. There's the plumbing hard mode. Let's go ahead and check out what the plumbing hard mode is. I will never forgive the traitors who betrayed our clan. Okay, so, recap. We have all these treasures, all at level 7 pinned, so they're maxed for the trial. We have a level 7 centipede cookie, we have a level 10 pet, and we have a level 5 max enhanced magic candy. What do we need to get Rainbow rank? A level 11 and a level 14. <laughs> you know, I kind of was predicting- Oh my gosh, that's so much, I just realized! That's three levels- No, that's four levels for the pet, and that's three levels for the cookie. No, that's four levels for the pet. That's four levels each! Oh my- Oh, don't even get me started on the plumbing trap. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go broke. Oh, I'm gonna go broke. I'm going broke. I've gone broke. Oh, no. This is the worst one by far. This is so much crystals that need to be spent just for this cookie to be maxed out. I mean, don't get me wrong. It'll probably help for doing the, uh, the Mirage Island stuff just to try and do other things. But holy frick, this is awful. This is the most amount of uh, cook of things and stuck and crystals and stuff I had to spend. I'm stuttering so much about it. Lord, have mercy on me, please. <laughs> Okay, well, after so much crystal spending, I think it was less than 10,000 or something. Maybe it was like around 7,000. And also spending a good amount of my spirit potions. I got the cookie to level 11 and the pet to level 14. At this point, I feel like I should just get the pet to level 15 at this point. But whatever. This is the bare minimum that I guess you need. And if I need to do any other upgrading, which at least I can get these other things. But if I need to do any other upgrading, then I guess I'm going to have to. But I kind of have to do this anyway just for the trial star jellies. So, it, whatever. Let's just see what hard mode has to offer for us because... Oh, just seeing all those crystals just immediately spent at the plumbing start of the update. I'm just there like, oh my gosh. Ugh, I say, uh, I'm broke. And now I need a new rent living. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine how people react to that one. Like, uh, just seeing the centipede cookie in the pet's level, just going through this. And I checked. I'm pretty sure I did. I have the correct treasures equipped. Look at that, look at that plumb. They're heavily guarded. I think it would be like, oh lord, the amount of like... Plumbing quicksand, like, the amount of plumbing quicksand scuff that's gonna be in this level is gonna be absurd. Oh, I'm gonna hate this level so much. Because I already don't like the quicksand mechanic because it's just, like, jumping and it messes with your altitude. And, she's it's just awful to think about. And especially this is just hard mode and this is only the beginning. Dude, I'm... Oh, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest stages that I ever go through. And, impressively enough, I have to go through this stage without getting hit a single time. Because I guarantee you, one hit basically spells the end for me. Okay, just get up here carefully. Okay, collect all these. Thank you, Bubble Wave Shield, for collecting all these coins and jellies, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be very helpful to make uh, the plumbing... What is it? Uh, the plumbing pop-up photo card exist. One, two. What? No, oh, my lord, I'm scared. I'm scared. I hate that jump so much. Are you kidding me? Make it all track to me. Make it all track. That was the worst jump I've ever made. And by that, I mean this in regards to fear. Dear lord. The amount of spacing that you need for that was so tight that you couldn't even fit that if like I, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say I think I'm trying to say something like that's the equivalent of like trying to shoot a nerf dart into a woodpecker hole I don't even know what that means either but that's because I'm flipping petrified about this oh my lord thank you bubble wave fuel again for making all these jellies magnetize, uh, magnetize I think bonus time might be coming up soon okay those fall down don't poke that knife at me I'd rather you didn't do that okay jump over you Honestly, these thieves should probably be on my side because I'm plumbing Centipede Cookie. They should probably be helping me. Like, I'm literally in the place where Centipede Cookie, like, you know, the Centipede King probably just lays here. Like, like, relies, basically. Why am I being the one being attacked? I have no clue, but apparently it's just for game lore, I guess. Okay. Okay, let's just go ahead and get that in a safe manner. I'm not going to try and do any wild jumps after that. We are close to Ruby. So that is pretty good. Maybe we can get it after this bonus time if we get enough jellies. But I don't know. That's just kind of like me guessing at this point. 
I'm already starstruck with the plumbing, uh, the amount of jellies I had to go in, or the crystals I had to spend for just getting it through this. Oh, it's so close out of Ruby. Okay. Well, get that potion. Yeah, it's definitely going to help with our drainage. Uh, hopefully there's something else nearby. I pray that there is, because if there isn't, I'm really in a bad... Oh, oh yeah, I have the egg. Oh, okay, I think with that, just the egg alone, now I have access to, uh... Oh, my... Don't do anything stupid. Whew! Okay. Careful jumping. What? Wait, wait, what, what, what? Oh, God. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no, I think I needed the shoes. And I think the scuff there is I needed to get the shoes and I needed to just jump as high as I can. So before I fell into the ground and activated the plebbing uh, red egg of resurrection, I have enough heights to uh, my skill can activate and I get rainbow rank. I like I know I feel like that's what it was because my skill was so close to getting activated. But it's I hate the fact I just hate that so much because I know it seems possible now. And if it's not possible and I still die even after I get it correct, I'm I'm going to be absurdly upset. But I just hate that I have to go through all that again. Uh, that pain and suffering, basically, now it's just null. Because now I have to do it again, but the correct way, I guess. Can I get that bag? Yes, I can. Oh! Oh! Oh, I get it! Oh, I pulled it off! Oh my gosh! Please, 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 please. Hold on, it's not over yet. It's not over until the skull is over. Okay, Ruby, Rainbow. Okay, just get these. Yes! Oh! Oh my gosh, I have no idea how to pull- I have no clue- I literally have no clue how to pull that off. Oh, hold on, last blast. I have no clue how I pulled that off, because I literally hit the ground first. Maybe it was just because, like, maybe I hit the ground, and, like, I don't know, maybe somehow that wasn't... That was some gank trick right there! I, I landed on the ground, and for some reason, it still wasn't enough to make me run out of energy. So two last jumps actually made that happen? See, that's the type of gankage I am talking about in regards to these trials for, like, super hard ranks, like diamond ranks, to try and get, quote-unquote, the lowest level possible for both the cookie and pet and treasures and stuff, to try and get the highest rewards. That's the type of gankage I usually talk about when regards to that, because it's literally the- Oh. Well, it looks like the internet's out. Good thing that doesn't re affect recording, unless it affects, like, online scores or something like that. I gotta check that. I hope I the internet just didn't die. I hope not. But that's the gankage I'm talking about with some of these rainbow rank stuff. I swear. Oh. I am so happy I pulled that off on the plebbing- On just the second try, too. Like, it only took me two tries, because that last one I- didn't do it, but the next one, one, which you just saw right there, was the gankage that I was talking about. But with that being said, now I can go over here and claim all this sweet loot, which is extra crystals, like 500, then 700, then 1,000, so that's like, I think, a th like 2,200? I think just about. And also that sweet, sweet legendary cookie potion, which I'm pretty sure can be very useful, which, hey, I mean, it's not rainbow cubes, but they do provide the rainbow cubes in the first part of the, uh, you know, the, you know, the cookie cup thing for the cookie trial star jelly things but there we go 226 and now i have this rainbow rank completed along with the diamond rank so sucks i had to spend that many crystals but i did get a couple back so i guess it's not that bad but if you enjoyed this video then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share this video with your friends who enjoy my cookie run content and if you enjoy my content in general why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever i do in the future i also have merch if you want to check it out but i'm not forcing you to buy anything at all i also have a discord down in the description in the description if you want to check that out it's called the hype these hub it's a fun time down there and we're trying to expand each and every single day and last but certainly not least there's another link down in the description that leads, in the description that leads to a twitter post where we get 10,000 likes i can get the cookie run you two set for absolutely free, but above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.